okay guys so i hope you are already loving python so welcome to pycodes academy and python course and in our previous videos we were looking at the basics of python which were the uh, introduction to python variables data types different data types like the int float strings and we talked about the print function and the input function so uh, in uh, our, in this video we will be doing uh, the first project in uh, in one of like five projects uh, we will do so this project will cover the basics of uh, python what we have learned uh, so far so so uh, in the in this project we will be creating a program to get the username from an email address entered by the user so we will make the user enter uh, uh, an input or the input should be the email so we will make him uh, enter an email then we will accept the username and maybe we use it for something or you just say hello that username okay so it will actually be based on what we have learned so far so i won't add anything just what we have covered so first create a program to get the username from an email address entered by the user so we are creating a program so that is the software to get the username from an email address entered by the user so first we have to know what is the email uh, what is the username email there everyone knows so like faisal c faisal at gmail.com so this is an email and let and the first here from <coughs> From the first letter to uh, the uh, before the last letter before the at is our username. Then from here to the last letter is our domain name. But in this video, we will be uh, getting only the username. Okay. So let's see how we will go about it. So first, uh, we have to accept an input from the user and we uh, assign it in a variable to use it later so let's use the variable name email is equal to let's say input then we ask a question okay let's say enter no sorry it should be in quote enter your name okay Oh, sorry <laughs> enter your email sorry then colon okay so we are asking uh, the user to enter his or her name then we, we want to um, uh, take the uh, email the gmail account or the email account you will enter in the next line so you use a backslash n character or the uh, new line character so new line character which is backslash n okay so we are asking for the user for an input and we are assigning the input inside the variable name email then we want to let's print the email what the uh, user entered out and see if there are no errors so print this out so let me type my email account you see at gmail.com so yeah so i type five or say six at gmail.com as we have here so that's what we got so i think we are on the right side then we know we know that the username starts from the first letter to uh, the last letter before the at sign so first we have to know the position of the at sign in the email so as to uh, extract the username so 
how do we uh, know the position how to how do you get the position of the add sign in the email we just use the uh, slice uh, slice method in the strings we did we did it in the strings so let's use the slice method so in the slice method we have to do okay let's store the uh, the number we will get as the position inside the variable name as let's say at underscore let's say at sign so at underscore sign is equal to so first we will enter the email the email is a variable dot so if you want the position email dot then the index function okay then we just put uh, what we want to find the position so the add sign okay so with this we will get the uh, position of the add sign and it will be inserted inside the at underscore sign variable so let's print the at underscore sign variable at underscore sign variable so let me type again Faisal c6 at gmail.com okay so the at sign is at position 11 so now we know the position of the at sign we can extract the username so we will use the range slice or the slice range to get the uh, username so first let's say username you put it in a variable name username is equal to then the email as we did in strings the email then square bracket then the starting position so the starting position is zero because python when we are counting in python we start from zero then colon so this means zero two then we will end at the last letter the letter before the at uh, sign which should be the at position why because it's an oh sorry why because it's a uh, it's a range and when you are uh, printing out a range the last letter won't appear it will be the uh, the letter before the last letter which will appear so here we are typing zero to uh, at underscore sign the position of the at sign but we will get from zero to ten because let's say we have something like from here let's say the position of the add sign is 11 so we want to get the username let's say from p to six when we use zero colon at underscore sign which is 11 we will get uh, this sign but when we use this from let's say zero to uh, ten we will get this instead of uh, five so say the six being part of the username so the last letter won't be passed so zero to at underscore sign okay i think we understand it now so then we go print then the username that will be the last step so okay so five so so say six at sorry at gmail.com okay so you got the username file so say six so it's so simple so first you just accept the input from the user then you find the position of the at sign then you do a slice range to get the username so they are the letters before the at sign and the ring should be from zero to the at sign because the last letter won't be printed out which is the at sign we won't be printed out so that's that then you just print the username out to get the username i think that's that okay so uh we have just uh created a program to get the username from an email address so it's so simple so you can add it to your maybe your portfolio uh -huh. so this is your first project so you can work uh, on more examples like let's say you want to uh, find the 
you can yeah you want to find the username of let's say two or three email address in a, at a go so you can do that too so i think we will move on to the next project